Very much, Pyra, and I am joined by Dexter from Elements. First time I'm talking to you side stage. Unfortunately, it is after a loss. I'd like to say thank you for talking to me after the game. Uh, let's see what happened. How is it HDK were able to close out so convincingly? Um, I think HDK is probably one of the best strategical teams in Europe right now. So they always have their edge in terms of how to play the map. So what we had to do was probably win through skirmishing early game. That's why we picked Lucian, had like um, a Gna, a Kassadin too. So I thought our comp was pretty good to actually beat them. But um, yeah, the level one went so horribly wrong for us that uh, it was actually very hard for us to catch back up. We got two kills in the top lane from a really good gank, but it actually didn't help because we had to uh, shut down the rumble and the rumble went completely off and destroyed us one on five so I don't know well tough loss um, let's take a step back it's great to have you back in Europe first of all with elements it's been a difficult start to the summer split so what's your opinion on you know the opening two weeks and coming back to the stage and obviously uh, stumbling a little bit at the beginning um, yeah, we practice for longer than other teams, but I kind of think we, in the middle of the practice, we lost our groove. Because when we first started practicing, everything was going fine. We had like really good progress. Uh, you could see that day to day we got a lot better. And then we just started doing stuff that we were like, we just uh, have to go back to the basics right now and uh, get everything back from scratch. So I don't know what's going to happen right now because we have to practice a lot. And then maybe week three will look better. But um, obviously, I'm very disappointed in like three losses because I think we could have at least won three games of those. And just like very small stuff that adds up that just loses us to games. And then the draft was messed up in the other game. And then all these kind of things just uh, come together. And then now we won three. But um, yeah, we just have to see, take every single game by game and keep improving. Well, it definitely seems like you are because there have been some moments that have been good. And as you said, it's small things that, that can be fixed. I do have a personal question that I'd like to know. Um, Whenever I look at elements and I look at team comps, a lot of the time it feels like it's scaling. Is this something that I'm reading too much into it, or do you think you guys are picking scaling comps maybe a little too often? Um, I think everyone right now on our team has a bit of a different mindset on how to do that, and we have to find a middle ground. But uh, I definitely think that we have been going for like more scaling comps that we should have, and that's what lost us games. And I'm pretty sure we could have lost the Gambit game too, if we would have played that same comp in the Fnatic, we would have straight up lost the game because we went for too much scaling. Um, yeah, I think we have to find a middle ground, have like some lane that has like early game pressure to compensate for the overly scaling comps. And then maybe we might do fine, but uh, we just have to see how practice goes. And yeah, just go keep on practicing. We can't really get too sad or too down on ourselves. It's a new team, we have new members and just go back to the grind tomorrow. I, I love your attitude and I wish you all the luck. Thank you again for actually talking to me after a difficult game. So after that, we're going to head back up to the analyst desk with Shocks and Stress. We're going to carry it on. Thank you so much, Trevor. And yeah, yet again, thank you to Dexter for uh, talking to us after what was a tough game. One of the reasons why is right here, <laughs> Odo Wamne. Wow. Um, yeah, give me the TLDR because first, those quick two early kills for you guys against the skirmishes, then actually two return kills by Elements. But how did you make sure that you drove it home quite quickly? Well, yeah, as you said, we got a lead early game from that level on. We got two kills and then Dexter got a really good gank on top. But I knew that I had all the pressure I wanted on board because I was so tanky since I got the first blood money and I could get to Ruby Crystal and I would be just be tanky to just push and not care about ganks because I would just survive them. So I just played through. I just tried my best to snowball that lane. Worked pretty pretty well. <laughs> Worked very well by the looks of it. Very confident on Rumble. It's a departure from the tanks that you've played before. Even coming in for the flank in mid lane team fights on Rumble, you're a very confident player. Uh, when you get ahead like that, is it difficult to stay uh, reined in and conservative throughout the game? Well, even when I get a lead, I don't get ahead of myself. I still know my power level and what I can do and what I can do. That's why I, I can play tanks so well, just because even if I'm star from farm and anything, I know the limits of the champion and I know what I can do and what I can do. So even though I got snowballed that game, I did ev everything I could and I tried to position as best as I could so I don't make any mistakes. And I don't know, I just feel like I played it pretty well. Yeah, your individual performance was definitely very good. Someone we've been looking at um, as maybe being able to step up a bit was Lulex coming into this week. I do feel like he has found his footing. Does that translate into your play as well, that you notice that and that you're able to connect with him better in the last two games? Yeah, in the first week we had, we struggled a bit just because we couldn't find our footing again and our communication wasn't as good because uh, due to the break between the splits. 
But right now I'm more confident because we changed the way we talk. We're more responsive to each other. And just by communicating more with him, it just gives me more confidence because I know that he can back me up and I can I can just play however I want. Yep, it definitely shows. Congratulations on that and a very good game from you guys. We're closing in on our final match of the day where Origen will look to tame the Copenhagen Wolves. Stay tuned, we'll be back to bring you all of the action in just three and a half. Stick to the plan. If something goes wrong, just keep playing. And then just look for some solutions, okay? Always look forward. All right. All right, I'm on. See ya, boys. See ya. See, See ya later. See you later, alligator. Dexter's there, but so is Lulex, and he turns it on again. There's the monsoon. What stronger the flame spinner is, and Lulex will pick up the kill. Has to flash away from the flame spinner. Big Barrel comes out. JWoww's got no Narvar, and he's all alone. Goodbye. I'm going to go now. He's my. He's my. Go for Lucian. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. Lucian, 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 Lucian. You okay, Rui? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I heal you, I heal you, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Odo Wamne, Lulex in the front line, Dexter, the barrel, Froggen, he's going down, pulled back in by the shockwave as Odo Wamne still alive in all of this. And a methodical and surgical dismantling of elements is completed.